Oh, hey there. Today we're going through my 1967 C10. It is my favorite thing to do whenever I pick up a new project is to go through the contents of the vehicle because you never know what you're going to find. So let's dig in here, see what we got. Before we get too carried away of digging into all the wonderful contents inside of this truck, I just kind of want to go over it real quick. It is my 1967 C10 that I picked up about a year or so ago at this point. But it is a factory short wheelbase truck. It is rough around the edge, but it's got a big block in it. So I think that kind of takes away from all that. Recently just acquired these wheels off of Facebook Marketplace. Got some fat ones out back and a little bit skinnier, shorter up front. As I was saying, it is a little rough around the edges. We get a little rust right here. And it's got rockers riveted in it with no inner rockers, but who really cares about any of that? Like I was saying, it's got this awesome big block Chevy in it. It's never been fired up, so that's going to be one of the next videos. Got to acquire a carburetor, because we're going to have to be breaking in this old flat tappet bump stick, a.k.a. camshaft in here. It is a Lunati bracket racing camshaft. That's all I know about it. I don't know any specs on it or anything like that, but came with the old cool cow custom valve covers it came with the long tubes there and it's just a pretty neat little piece it's backed by a turbo 400 but without further ado let's dive in this thing and start getting into what is actually in this truck all right so i guess we're going to start at the back of the truck and work our way into the cab um looks like the first thing here we've got a set of rally wheels which obviously a lot of this stuff is pretty easy to see inside the back of this truck, but I like getting on the inside because you never know what you're going to find. Got a lot of fuel line looks like from something. Doubt it is to this truck. Inner fender. Multiple pieces of front end trim it goes around the grill inserts and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool to have multiples of Got some more trimmage Oh good lord <laughs> Jesus Pete's at the heavy bumper drive shaft I'm not sure that's out of this truck it looks a little long don't know though some dually simulators some weather cracked wheels got the little rain panel Looks like a cut speedometer cable and then the little weather stripping for the cow piece. And then we just got two factory style steel wheels. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. So we've got the majority of all the contents out of the bed but I'm just gonna sweep this thing real quick maybe we can find something in the rest of this first time I'm seeing the bed floor and it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be it's rough don't get me wrong but it's manageable Let me know in the comments what's the craziest thing you've ever found in a truck. I've found anything from bullets to hair ties, all kinds of weird stuff and jewelry. So 
let me know what you found down in the comments below. All right, so the bed is completely clean. Um, the bed does have a little bit of wave in it, so it looks like somebody has used this as an actual truck. Something oily was definitely down in that corner, which might have saved it a little bit. You can see we got a little bit of rust. And then the inside of this bed panel is like riveted in like it's like a two-piece. It's kind of odd, but that uh, second layer there is kind of rusting. And then you can see up there we got a couple holes, but for what it is, it'll be pretty cool. The um, only thing I found that I didn't really know what it was was this piece here. Kind of looks like a piece of trim. But I'm not sure if it goes to this truck, which it's pretty gnarly anyway. But yeah, that's about the only thing I found on the back. Now before we get into the cab, I'm going to run you over here to the other side. Because this truck did come with a lot of parts that I did know that were in it. So I'm just going to run you through those real quick. We got a B&M shifter for the Turbo 400. It came with a set of coilovers. And then here at the bottom, there's a little parallel four link with a panhard bar. It's uh, got adjustable mounts and everything so you can adjust your instant center and all that stuff. And then it came with a bunch of headlight bezels and all that stuff just a bunch of different little parts for these particular years. It actually came with a Holly carburetor which is actually on the dually and uh, it's performing very well. Also a cool little thing on the engine. It's got the old Pete Jackson gear drive timing set in it. So that thing will have a little bit of a wind to it. I've never had one of those. I've always heard about them. So it'll be kind of cool and a little bit nostalgic to see that. And it might get very annoying. I've heard that they do. So that's supposed to be the quieter of the two that you can get though. So looking forward to hearing this old thing fire up. But let's get inside, see what the heck we're working with. Right off the bat, got some mouse turds as to be expected. But I think the majority of this stuff is a lot of like five lug conversion stuff. You can see control arm there, there's a caliper. Got a little headlightage, but let's dig into all that over there and see what the heck we got going on. So right off the bat, we got an APCO Guarantee 4. The AFCO coils, those coilovers I just showed you, a lifetime guarantee on those, so I don't know. It's got a little bit of information right there about the spring and all that. Unfortunately, it looks like a mouse got a hold of that, so that's going to be less than ideal. Starting off with our five lug swap kit here, looks like we got two dust shields. Got an upper control arm. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm guessing these came off of a square body. I don't know exactly. I don't know if there's a number we can look up, but that's future me problems. I've got some U-bolt brackets here. I've got some kind of shock here of unknown origins or what it's even for. It's a KYB though. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty decent little brand. Two sets of wipers. Taint sure. And we got a caliper. I have to run that part number, see what that's even off of. Maybe that'll help us decipher what the heck everything else is for. Might need this right now. Got some more U voltage. Another shock, looks like the same brand. And we got a rotor proportioning valve. Cool spring. We don't need those where we're going. Let me know in the comments also, would you like to see this be an air ride truck like my 64? Or would you rather see it be a drag and drive style truck? 
that's kind of the route that I'm leaning towards. But just let me know what you would do with it. Old tire iron. Looks like a booster off a newer model truck. Have to see if I can maybe retrofit that in on this truck. I don't know. Maybe we'll try that. Looks like two factory style spindles here. And another shock. Yeah, they put some kind of weird, uh, almost looks like tar paper on this thing on the floor. So it kind of scares me to even dream about what's underneath that. But let's see what the heck's behind this seat, I guess. Huh. Looks like an old PBR can here. Huh. It's even kind of cold. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> Not bad. So other than the PBR, nothing behind this seat, unfortunately. That's usually where you can find some pretty good stuff. And sometimes underneath the gas tank here, whip out my L cellular phone and get a light in here. Get something there. Ooh. Looks like a book. Huh, that's pretty nice. So that looks like a GM factory owner manual for the 67 to 72 trucks I could probably use that on dad's 72 too because there's a couple things on there that we could probably use so that'll definitely come in very very handy right there it's the little stuff like that that you find it makes these old trucks really cool so I'm gonna dig under the seat a little bit and see what we can find maybe there's some more treasures under there hopefully not just more mouse poop Driver's side is looking pretty empty. I guess the whole seats aren't as bolted on this thing. <laughs> you can see there the kind of the tar paperish looking stuff that's on the floor. And you can see here the rockers don't have any kind of a panel in them. So yeah, you can see that. I don't, I don't know what that is. If it's like an old school sound deadener. Or what? So we dug through the C10. You've seen, we've got quite a bit of stuff. We've got doubles of a lot of things and that's good. I mean, it can be trading material or just in the future have another project. But I tell you, whenever you're going through these projects and you've got all this stuff going on, it is pretty nice to just do something like this. Kind of breaks up the monotony of just constantly grinding on a vehicle. I know for me, I like to do this because it kind of shows me like, what the person before me was doing, which unfortunately David, the guy I got this from, I did get to know him for a short period of time, but he has passed away. So it's cool to see what he kind of had envisioned for this truck. And it's just, you know, something I can start going back with. And finding this manual, I mean, that's gonna be pretty big going forward on a lot of projects because these things are getting harder to find. I'm sure you can still get them online, but that one's older vintage I guess so yeah like I was saying let me know in the comments what the coolest thing you've ever found in an old truck I know I've heard some wild stories before I'm finding weird stuff and I have found some weird stuff myself so I'd like to hear what you guys had to find but let me know what do you think we should do with the 067 
bags, drag and drive, just a lowered suspension and burn the tires off. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air. I'm kind of pinching pennies currently to get some carburetor stuff and just finish stuff for the engine so we can fire this thing up finally. But appreciate the heck out of you guys stopping in here again, watching a video. And if you're here to this point, I appreciate you. But it's a kind of a shorter one, but I just wanted to get you guys in here show you what I'm doing but we'll get back to some actual work here very soon as always have a good one see you on the next one